So today before us we have uh, a pretty pretty difficult question or a pretty difficult statement. Um, it's one that has been tossed around quite often and used quite often. Um, the statement is everything happens for a reason. Make that into a question. And the question is, does everything happen for a reason? And if so, why? Does everything happen for a reason? No. No, it doesn't. But there, there, there's probably a probably to flesh that out a little bit. Um, that saying has kind of been trimmed down and trimmed down and trimmed down to uh, to its bare bones, and has really taken out a lot of what was once good in it. Uh, everything happens for a reason. Uh, is often a platitude that is used to make people feel better. Um, everything happens for a reason is basically another way, uh, a, a, spirit, a spiritual way of saying, hang in there, bucko. That's really what, it's, what it is. Um, just in terms of, of language and com communication. Um, also, one of the worst things you can say at, at a funeral. Um, a lot of these videos are going to be bad things to say at funerals, and everything happens for a reason is definitely one of those. Um, and also, you, you never really, I have never s heard, and I've never said that phrase, when something good has happened to someone. Um, I, some, you know, someone wins a lottery and someone goes up to you and goes, everything happens for a reason. You, usually it's, it's, on, it's on the negative end. And the idea is, well, there, there, there's two, two understandings that we're going to break down. Basically, we have the first understanding, which is a universalist understanding of everything happens uh, for a reason. And there's a karmic understanding of everything happens for a reason. Now, the karmic understanding of everything happens for a reason uh, is what we're going to start with. Karmic, of course, uh, is the absolute blasphemy that I wish that we could rip away from our uh, Christian's vo Christian vocabulary because it's not a Christian word at all. Uh, it is all about karma. Uh, the idea that if, that if you do good, then good will be done unto you. Um, and so, in in that in that realm, uh, everything happens for a reason. If you suffer, then you will be paid back in the opposite of suffering. Um, if you suffer, you will be paid back in joy. Um, rarely do people say everything happens for a reason, uh, and that reason is that. Something else really bad's going to happen to you. Typically, people are saying that to boost you up. Um, sometimes, sometimes things happen for a reason, uh, and that reason is you could be a jerk to somebody, and the, you're the reason that that thing is happening. Uh, or someone could be a jerk to you, and uh, there is no karma that's going to come back and uh, and and bite you or bite them you're just a jerk whichever person 
Um, so everything happens for a reason. Uh, is kind of taken. It, it, it's it's kind of like added on to Christianity as if uh, as, as if it were part of it because it's sort of like this mutated version of the false statement God helps those who help themselves which is really saying nothing at all um, everything happens for a reason and God helps those who help themselves ah see look I'm ruining what could be another video um, God, uh, God helps those who help themselves and everything happens for a reason it's basically uh, uh, a a statement of miss if not disbelief um, everything happens for a reason also makes you the uh, object and subject which takes us to the universal understanding now a lot of people have commented that it is in the Bible that everything happens for a reason. It's not. And the closest that I have, that anyone's ever come to 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 uh, to kind of anywhere close to anything like that um, is Romans. Eight. We'll start at 26. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. Now, you can look at the Holy Spirit and say, well, I don't worry about it. Everything happens for a reason. And he who searches the hearts of men know the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God, which directly speaks against everything happens for a reason. And this is the verse that most people quote. We know that in everything God works for good those who love of Him, who are called according to His purpose. So twist that around, and I'm going to finish the context, twist that around, and you have God will work good out of anything that happens to you that's bad, lukewarm, mediocre, or anything other than good. So, um, God's, God's sole purpose, uh, according to to ripping out this text is uh, is to be your uh, therapy God. Um, he is your support God, and uh, he ha the, you know he has the the, the blue thing from uh, uh, Lutheran Church Charities and 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 all that, and he and he's he's going to support you that way. If you bump your knee, God will work that towards your good. Well, uh, it's much deeper than that, especially when we talk about uh, the Holy Spirit who intercedes, that is, prays for us to God the Father, um, and that, uh, that, that, the, that the Holy Spirit intercedes for us so deeply that we don't have the words for it, especially not platitudes. And that He searches the hearts uh, of men and knows what is what what is the mind of the spirit because the spirit intercedes for the saints to, to the will of God and that's the thing we have to remove ourselves from the center the object and p place Christ there so that removes the karmic understanding completely out of everything happens for a reason uh, because it ain't about you. To finish this, we know that in everything God works goodness for those who love Him, which also, well, I'm, I'm not going to get into that yet. We know that in everything God works for good or the goodness with those who love Him, who are called according to His purpose, 
for those he foreknew, he also predestined to be comforted uh, to the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he uh, predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he has justified. And those whom he justifies, he will also glorify, or he has also already glorified those in whom he has justified. Therefore, if you read the entire context, none of that is everything happens for a reason. It's one thing happens for a reason, and it's Christ crucified, and you baptized into it, and that the, the, and the one thing that connects that is justification, or not, that, well, that connects it and, and, and permeates into it, uh, is justification. What connects you to Christ crucified is your baptism, and what we find in Christ crucified and raised is justification by grace through faith given to you. So, in that case, if anything happened for a reason, it's the incarnation. And if anything has ever happened for a reason, it's the deliverance and what happened in that incarnation, the crucifixion. We even the the, epif the, the epiphanies, in, including the miracles, and then the crucifixion, the resurrection, the institution of the Lord's Supper, um, the, the 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 Great Commission, the ascension, the coming again to judge living and the dead, the giving of the church. The reason, if there is a reason, it's in Christ becoming man. Everything happens for, if, if anything, any one thing were to happen for a reason, it's, the, it's in the incarnation of Christ that all may continue into salvation for us by grace through faith in which we are justified. <sighs> okay, next, the universal understanding. Um, the universal understanding is uh, is really one that that is that is used to uh, uh, more to comfort. Everything happens for a reason. Is uh, is that it's out there in the ether, and that uh, um, basically, if you do if you do something, uh, the universe is going to uh, pay you back. Uh, not quite the same as karma, but but sort of kind of the same. Um, karma is more of a force that uh, is a whirlwind. Um, universalism is more, uh, well, let me just, let me just explain. Everything happens for a reason. Now, I had my, um, I had my crack art team, uh, draw up this graph. That's you. Not too happy, not too sad. Me. Everything happens to a reason, or for a reason for you. However, basically, life travels at about that speed. We'll call it about average. Neither happy nor sad, but lukewarm. As you go along, you meet somebody, they dump you. You get over it, then something else bad happens. And then you come up a little bit, and then all of a sudden, you get sick. Let's say you have cancer. And, right, and then right in the depths, You have, don't worry, everything's, everything happens for a reason. 
then that you're the idea is that well well then of course if if that's true then then the trajectory has to eventually turn and go up if the reason is a is is positive then it 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 must go up the cancer must be cured but at the end of the day whether it goes up or down this is the result every if everything happens for a reason and then we have to ask the question what is that reason then the reason eventually is this if everything happens for a reason then everything eventually reason or not ends at death and so again the center it it it, it, it it ceases. Universalism makes you the, uh, the 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 center of the universe, and and when people say everything happens for a reason, um, it's confirming that you are the center of your universe. You are what matters. Um, you live your best life, and whatever happens, pick yourself up by your bootstraps, um, and along the lines. And uh, don't let me ruin this one. If it doesn't kill you, it can only make you stronger. Well, that's not necessarily true. There are a lot of things that make you weaker. Uh, I mean, a lot of things. Uh, like all illnesses make you weaker. Um, yet... The point, if, 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 if the reason is that you're moving into salvation, then it's just bad theology and bad Christianity. If the reason is that you're somehow moving into the universe and everything will work out eventually, either to your good or, at worst, to this baseline here, then it's pointless. To even say however if if everything happens every if if everything that happens happens because eventually you are going to be six foot under then we need to talk about not what happens for a reason but what I said before be justified by grace through faith, beyond reason. Now, there's a difference between reason and season. I'm going to start here uh, in Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season. A, a time, not a reason. For everything there is a season. A time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A uh, time to seek and a time to, to, to loose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. So there's a season for all those things. But in those seasons of life, is, on this, is in this valley of tears... It's on this side. It's the very reason we need uh, uh, Psalm 23 to, to, to comfort us. Now, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For, but why? Because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
those those times of, of of dread and death and 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 and, and hate and fear uh, are are also met with leading us to green pastures, uh, where we are da daily provided with everything that we need in this life. Um, there is a time for all of those things in this world. Yet this world will pass away. So, if this world will pass away, or Ecclesiastes 3, 16, Moreover, I saw under the sun that in the place of justice there was weakness, and in the place of righteousness there was weakness, wickedness, excuse me. I said in my heart, God will judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time for every matter and for every work. I said with my heart with regard to children of man that God is testing them that they may see that, see that they themselves are but beasts. For what happens to the children of men and what happens to the beasts is the same. As one dies so the other dies. They all have the same breath, and no man has advantage over the beasts, for it is all vanity. And there you have it. Everything happens for a reason, and the, the heartbeat of it is vanity. It's your vanity, or it's you wanting to point to someone else's vanity to shine a light on that vanity so that you believe that you are the center of the universe. Everything happens for a reason is not only incorrect, it's diabolical because it points to vanity. And the second use of the law, the mirror, is actually turned into a window and you get to view the whole world uh, according to your own rose-tinted uh, glasses or whatever color you want because you're the ruler of your own universe. All go to one place. All are from dust, and to dust all return. Who knows whether the spirit of man goes upward, the spirit of beasts goes down into the earth. So I saw that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his work. As we quoted um, before. Romans 8. So I saw that there is nothing better than a man should rejoice in his work, for that is his lot. Who can bring him to see what will be after him? And then that brings us right back to the reason for anything and everything. Incarnation. What will be after me? What will be after you. What's the reason that anything happens? And if it's a if it is a reason, does that mean that that reason is a good one or a bad one? What's going to happen after me is the question. If my work is good here on earth by the Holy Spirit, thanks be to God. If I work ill, and have rejected the Holy Spirit, then ill will befall me. So the question, what will be after me, all hinges on this. There is one reason that matters, and it's the incarnation that was prophesied and that set into motion our justification through the crucifixion, resurrection, ascension, and the eventual uh, return of Jesus Christ. And then when we rise from the dead and we look at Christ, we will say, Oh! My heart, after I was baptized, sang this so many times so many times Christ crucified and raised
has from the dust rebuilt my body. And the reason is God's love through His Son poured out by the Spirit for you. So let's be a little more careful with our words. There's a reason for everything. For everything has a reason. Not everything has a reason. But Christ and the Holy, the Holy Spirit has given calls unto you. And the cause is this, that he would die, he would raise, and you would die in the waters of baptism and be raised, and forever be joined with Christ as bride and bridegroom. So there you have it. False. Does everything happen for a reason? No. But things do happen. And there are reasonable things. Just don't put them together in that short little sentence like that. The Lord be with you.